Hello and welcome back to KB Bank. Uh, this is the fourth video in the series about the construction of the, this layout. In this video, we're going to look at the frames which are built to support the layout itself and also some of the testing that went, went on because the, this layout is on a gradient. And before I, before I constructed all the frames, I wanted to make sure that, that the most of my engines had no problem climbing there, a 100 gradient pulling various stock or co coaches. So you'll, you'll see some of that later in the video. So let's get on with the video. All right, this is trains, well, the first trains to run in the workshop. I'm running tests here um, to see how many coaches, well, the GNT first and other engines will, will pull up this slope, which is one and a hundred or one percent. Reason why is the whole layout will be on a slope of one in a hundred going from the workshop sloping back towards the patio. GNT's reached the limit now. So we'll do six coaches. Just five. Change of engine now, Pannier with six coaches on. This engine's got a bit more weight. Again, climbing the 100. She doesn't seem to have too much problem. One test today on this one in a hundred incline is black five and six coaches. Take that, no problem. This is Black 5, 4, 5, 0, 2, 0, pulling 10 coaches of 1 in 100 gradients, which is excellent. This is a test with 55 wagons, which exceeds the length of the actual shed. And it's connected to my Black 5. 45020. Let's pick it around. And she hasn't got a lot of track to go. This temporary track was something that I did just to um, try gradients. This is a one in 75 gradient that runs. Now it's just propped up where it, where it can, just to make sure that, that um, steam engines mainly can handle a certain amount of freight. But most steam engines that I tried managed at least 30 wagons, so that, that's fine. So one in 75 is the gradient it will be from the well, one in 75 is the gradient it'll be from the higher level there to the low level, which is the storage. But that'll happen all the way from there, climbing all the way up, right the way around, and eventually come out here. So that's how you'll get from the storage to the layout itself. Carry on building a couple of frames here 
Now I've been spent a lot of time making sure these are really accurate. This piece of aluminium shows show that I've been following the string religiously down. And put it on there, it should just touch the string nicely there. And just to make sure everything's horizontal, I've got my digital spirit level there, which is varying between zero and, and, and zero point one degree. I built uh, all the frames on this side now. All the actual frames, but I need to link them all together. So I've been putting in strengthers like like this. That'll be my next job to complete the strengthers in the in the lot and take away all these temporary bits of timber. My frames are coming on really well. I've now come all the way down, down here, and I've got the last two to go in there to complete. These circuits all the way around, just like, like I've done on that side. So we're getting on with it. So I've now completed all the frames all the way around. You see, there's a lot more way to do yet before I've got any kind of boards on it. I need to complete the lower level supports and tie everything into in together properly so it becomes a strong structure so that's my next little job anyway i'm just doing a couple of hours every day hopefully it will it won't take too long right i've now completed the supports for the layout for the top level all the way around you might do it around there all the way around so nice and strong support it in the middle to stop it any sagging but i'm going to use 12 millimeter ply and then the next bit is to complete the lower level here this one's all the way around all the way underneath and eventually it will come across here and go out there which then goes into the workshop so that's the, the sort of storage idea anyway Right, so hopefully that was only a relatively short video and you got this far, so well done. Um, now, hopefully you can understand what actually went into building all these, these frames and some of the testing that was actually involved uh, before I actually undertook any real construction. So I'm trying to build this channel, so if you could click and subscribe and maybe click the notification bell and then you'll get to know when I release a, a new new video. Uh, any comments will be welcome. I always like to see uh, comments. So uh, thank you for watching and hopefully we will see you on the next video. <laughs>